Hey, what's up guys? This is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. So, today is the 25th anniversary of the Beast War cartoon. And I think it would be appropriate to celebrate this event by reviewing a Beast War figures. So today, here we have the Transformer War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Deluxe Class Scorponok from Beast War. Well, so I just saw this video on YouTube recently about the basic on Scorponok. So I know that this is a really complex character because like many characters have shares the same name, but like each one of them is an individual and not relating to each other. Like the only thing that they share is the name. So here we have today. I think it's the most developed Scorponok character of all time. This is the Beast Wars Scorponok. And so begin with the robot mode. The first thing I want to say that the proportion looks weird to me. You have such a big chest section, but I feel the bulkiness and thus making the figures look short. Because like look at the look at the leg, they are really thin and the feet is really small. And it is like pointing down. So like you got the feeling of this guy's really short. And to make matters even worse, you got the two claws of the scorpion. Like they're not even that like the real, what actual scorpion claws look like. But like, I know, you, you mean like, technically, this figure is not appealing at all, in my opinion. Unlike the other Beast World characters. The, some point I, that I actually, I enjoy about this guy would be that the texture of the purple parts. As you can see here, they look very like the, the scaly texture, which is really interesting. The second thing that I like about this guy is that, well, the chest, you see that the chest, upper chest is a gray, but then turning down, it's like getting a little purplish. You get the point. One other thing that I like about this guy would be the gold paint onto the bodies. You got some gold highlight, especially with the paint on the leg. I mean like the gold with purple is a really good color matching. I've seen this color matching countless times. Like it just makes the figures look fancier. But upon that, you got some red leg on the back which is kind of weird and to be honest look like a green mess and apart from that you got the sting that made from red as well i don't know why but it is an odd choice i would prefer this to be the sting to be with like purple you know just go with the normal purple they were with the whole body and now zoom on to the details we got the face so here's we have the normal scorponok the basic scorponok face from peace war a very bulky and you know that mean face you got the gold visor and that is basically it there's nothing too much to say about the face sculpt i mean i know that it is full of characteristic based on the beast war cartoon but that would be just about it i don't see anything that too special about this face sculpt and then we got the claw which is the i in my opinion the best thing about this guy because this copy from the uh, old takara versions the japanese version of scorponok so up on the right claw if you open them out first you see some teeth that is really nice and you see two rockets they are red and not painted this is the same color as the leg uh, and they can rotate they can be pulled out like that that is a really nice gimmick i enjoy that and if you open the left one you get a fly and that is also interesting and the flies can be moved out the fly is basically gray plastic with some metallic purple onto to the wings and some red paint onto the eyes and you can see the full six leg and i mean this is like the best the best i think i like about this figure over here like i mean literally the best thing and that could be about it or with all the features so we turn this guy around and this guy got so many hollow parts so here we got hollow hollow here and hollow there too many hollows part onto the back section some i can go with especially for the legs and the back of the scorpion tail because they are due for the transforming mechanism but why with the insect legs and why with the front section of this you can just make this like full you know that is not that expensive so this is the thing that i quite disappointing about these figures and the final thing is that with the proportion of him being this thick, it makes the figures look kind of short. So for size comparison, I will, I will only compare this guy next to my Chiro. One thing that I don't remember correctly is that if this guy that short in the original cartoon, but having him standing side by side with Chiro, I mean, just look at the size. Like he's like really short, really, really short and bulky. So proportionate wide, not very appealing. 
So I'll begin the articulation with the tail. So it can move like that. And the front section can adjust. And the sting is on a ball joint. So it's, it can rotate around. That would be it. The head can look up a little bit. And not really down because of the whole blockiness. And it can do a full 360. It's on the ball joint. Arm can do a full rotation. And the shoulder can raise up a little bit. That due to the transformation gimmick. You got a bicep swivel. This is the, you got a 90 degrees bend. And that is like really bent. And you got a full wrist rotation. The claws of course can open out and close. You got no you got some waist articulation. But uh, it got kind of blocky because of the whole mess in the back. The legs can kick to the front and kick to the back. Again, being affected by the whole mess in the back. You got a thigh swivel. You got a really nice knee band because of the transformation gimmick. And the toe is and the feet, you got some movement here and, and you got some really nice pivot. And one thing I want to point out is about the feet, if you turn them around. So the left feet, when you bend it like this, because of the transformation gimmick, but on the right feet, if you bend it, it should be just like the whole feet bending down. So that's a point I want to point out for you. So now I think it's time for us to get to the transformation of this guy. So let's begin. I mean like this is a really simple and not very satisfying transformation sequence. I mean like, it just feel like it got left over there for that. And I can say that when I finish transforming this guy, I know that Takara and Hasbro has really aimed for Scorponok to be displayed in his Scorpion mode. Because look at the everything, the proportion, the colors, they look a lot more effective in this form over here. Now with the teeth and the eyes of the Scorpion got shown now, the red leg and the red stings. They make a lot more sense to me now. But upon that, this is still a fairly disappointing figure. Uh, the reason for that would be that even having this Scorpion mode, and it is a shame that they replaced the original Beast War head with the, a much more realistic style Scorpion head, because that is the way of Kingdom. But the shameful thing came from underneath this guy, if I'm gonna flip him around right now. So you can see that you got a whole bunch of cables over here. I mean, like, I like the way they managed to fit the legs onto the tail. I like that. It fills up the tail nicely. But one downside about this is that the tail is hard to articulate to get you any some any poses. And if you're gonna move the, leg, the tail up, then you're gonna end up pulling this whole section out. And then you got this whole nasty hollow piece. And then you see the head. They don't, they don't even try to hide the head so away, which is a shame. And one other thing is that about the leg would be the when you flip him around I wish that they got some kind of tap to tap his feet onto that knee over there I wish they do have some way I would make the figure looks better like not like dangling like this this shows that I mean like to me this couple knocks feels like an afterthought it feels like they just gonna okay let's make the scope knock because we have made the whole entire piece wall line so yeah let's try that and I'm fairly disappointed with this figure and so yeah, let's get to the final size comparison. Here we have Scorponox next to Leader Class, Megatron, T-Rex, and the Deluxe Class, Chiro. You get the size. I mean like he's a decent Scorpion. And I think I'm gonna display this guy in the Scorpion mode. 
And so this wraps up my review about Transformer Kung Fu Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Class Scope Nox. Tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below. And if you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. That is where I do most of my poses and stuff. And finally, if you feel like you would help me out with some future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link will be in the description below. Ta-ta now! -ta -ta.